Sounds like a plan. Yep, sounds like a plan. Here we go. We're picking up our adventure from uh, last episode, folks, as we are coming up through the rocky crags here on the side of a hill. And, um, yes, yeah, so you see this group kind of talking up in front of you about 60, 80 feet uh, in front, up in the rocks in front of you. And then you see some uh, some figures kind of off to the um, kind of the north e northeast direction. You guys are kind of hidden in the bushes right now. Um, the rocks are about they're, they're like uh, slated slate rocks. Um, these plateaus are about oh, 10 to 15 feet tall. Um, you don't think it would be too hard to climb up them. Um, you know, if you had a, a decent uh, uh, check on them. You are in thick brush right now. Obviously, uh, difficult terrain. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? As you kind of hear them kind of talking and kind of moving around. Uh, you know, they, you know, every once in a while, one will come over and look. Come up the rocks and kind of peek down the road there. And this one will come over and check, uh, you know, check the... Uh, um, does something in that little thicket of bushes and they're obviously you know kind of waiting or doing something uh mm -hmm. there are they saying anything interesting in um can we tell i guess is the question do Just they kinda... oh, sorry do they look like they're always looking in the same direction as in if they were looking you know kind of waiting for us sort of idea um, they do seem to tend to be looking out towards the grasslands from, as opposed from to which looking, we would have yes, from okay. what, where people would be traveling through, as opposed to looking through back at, you know, through the, uh, the rocky crags, you know, the rocky crags, you probably couldn't see more than a hundred feet or maybe 200 feet mm -hmm. max anyways, with all the different, uh, twists and turns and boulders right. and everything. So, um, mm -hmm. you'd be fortunate to see more than 50 or 60 feet in front of you right mm. so why saying Daddy. don't fight when you can run so if they don't see us let's go past them is it possible because I mean obviously we can't do it on the road we'd have to go through the this rocky field but is that even possible um, you might be able to wind your way through the, the different rocks to get around them, uh, assuming you could stay stealthy and quiet. Or we could pretend to be cultists. Mm. I mean, the other Fair people enough. weren't really dressed very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Unless, of course, this is a rear guard. In which case, they would know everybody's past them already. Uh... That's a good point. <laughs> they, there was that one group of stragglers that we ended up catching and 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 killing at the campsite, That's but true. they had kobolds be... with them, so they would expect kobolds with us. Now we can um, just kill them. They were too yeah, that's, always, that's always possible. We could just say we yeah. had to kill them. They were just annoying the crap out of us. That seems pretty evil. Worst case scenario, we end up fighting them. Best case scenario, I mean, we could just walk past and say we're going to the meet up with everybody else to the camp. Or Does whatever. anybody speak Draconic? Because that would definitely help. I don't know. Nope. If, sp if speak Draconic, do I speak Draconic? I doubt it. Let me check. Is if there not, any? I speak it, but. If he wants um, to walk past you first. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you know, you could try, uh, you know, running and looking like you're being pursued. Uh, Help! Uh, say, yeah, say they're they're hot on our he heels, quick. I and don't then, like that uh, idea. Oh, I do speak And then we can sneak around behind them and, uh, ah, you know, I'm while sorry, they're... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I do speak draconic. Then you could, uh, you know... my grandfather. And then we could sneak around, a couple of us could sneak around behind them and try and take them by surprise. I mean, they only outnumber us like 8 to 1. I'm actually, <laughs> 8 to 1. <laughs> yeah, it's only 2 to 1. 
That's true. Exactly. Just remember, you guys outnumbered the other guy three to one. <laughs> yeah, but only one of us fought. <laughs> the worst, I mean, I could go up to them. Worst case scenario, I can turn into a mouse and run away. That's true. As long as you don't get squished. Yeah. Yeah. But then I, okay. then I won't be able to turn her to a bear because that's two transformations in one day. Mm -hmm. Well, is that or you can just turn into a bear. And... Uh, there are a lot of people. Bear can only bite so many people and there are acolytes and guards. I'm no, like said, I'll... Myself and Merrick were pretty stealthy. We could try to get around behind them. And uh, the other two... Uh, Oh, except there was never any dwarfs with them, were there? Dwarfs yeah, there was some a... dwarfs. There was some... Oh, there was? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. There were? Okay. There's a few dwarves, a few uh, elves, a few half-elves, but well, mostly humans, but there was a few uh, a few of them that were um, other races. There was no halflings. There was no dragonborn. There was no drow. Some of the minor races, but... Um, some yeah, of the major. I'm glad to try and stay away and stealthy and go around that other side if there were no halflings in their cult. Well, is there any wisdom at all in trying to capture one and interrogate them, or do you think that's just kind of a bad idea? Yeah, I think that's an awesome idea, actually. How can I just? Uh, I could probably just go into their camp and speak to them. It's worth a shot, right? Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, so at this point, they don't... You're kind of off in the distance, whispering back and forth, talking yeah. about what to do. Um, so you... Presumably, they don't know you're there right this second. So if you mm -hmm. were to do something, you would pr probably have a surprise round Ooh. out of character. Um if you were to enter the camp and talk with them and then they decide, oh, we don't like this guy or whatever, and they go to attack, then you would obviously wouldn't have any kind of a surprise round. But In fact, you might even have worse than that. You might be surprised when they just decide to start attacking you. But at the same time, if I cannot fight, I'm going to try not to fight. My character but really, in all, in all honesty, <laughs> these guys have, you know, are responsible for killing and maiming and basically murdering uh, quite a few townsfolk, burning down the village, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking Good they should point. probably pay. You know. Uh, the law of the land. Of there are a lot of them. Yeah, but again, if we take a bear. surprise, we should be able to take out a couple before things happen. Yeah. Okay, with surprise would be be able problem is we wouldn't be able to get I don't think I'd be able to get in melee range with surprise of any of them. Too many well, let's try and a little bit closer. The worst that can happen is they uh they detect us coming. Alright, we could try that. I can always pop up pop out and say, Hey, how you guys doing? Good good to see you, buddies. And that wouldn't look too suspicious as you popped out of the bushes, right? Um, I'm a druid. I can just tell them that I was uh, doing druid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I speak draconic. I can just tell them I was uh, speaking a secret. I was uh, chanting a prayer to the dragon queen, Tiamat. Hmm. So it's definitely worth a shot. Okay, so it's worth a shot. It's the worst that can happen. All right. I'm and I can always turn up. into a mouse. You guys die, but I'd be fine. There you go. Yeah, we all die. That's probably the worst that could happen. <laughs> <laughs> die, What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What's the possible worst that can happen? Yeah, you keep saying the worst that can happen and the best that can happen. But I don't think you're assigning percentages of probable outcomes to those too well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's let's just try to sneak up a little closer. Yeah. Okay. All right, I I have the Balinor has his axe and his shield ready. Uh, I'd rather you <laughs> didn't do that. Jesus Christ! 
Well, I mean, if we get surprised, I don't want to have to be spending a round or two. To oh get no, my no, no! Out. We're 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 laughing at a stealth roll. Not yeah. You oh, definitely okay. want to be prepared. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah would... Oh, do I do one too? Stealth roll. Uh, if you're trying to be stealthy, yes. Yeah. You better um, stop. I'm not trying. Yeah, I guess I am. I'm trying to go through the bushes. I guess sort of. I'm not wanting to go that... F I'm wanting to go further. Alright, well, um... <laughs> and I don't oh, think Quarry oh, got that far. As you're yeah, trapping, th trancing through the bushes... <laughs> snap. <laughs> you hear one of them yell out, uh, Someone here! Uh, Battle at the ready! No! no. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna shout. I'm gonna shout in Deconic, uh, uh Hold your fire. We are friends, not friends. We are allies. All here to praise the Grand Dragon Queen. Uh, why don't you roll initiative? We'll see what happens. Oh, damn it. Best place to pray is in the bushes. I'm running the hell out of here. If, you, if this doesn't go well. Oh, now I roll good. All right, I'm going to pull this over to my second screen now so you guys at home can see all the action in all of its glory. You're wounded, Balinor. I know. Oh. I know, I it's from the... We didn't have it. We didn't take a rest, did we, from the last one? We ha I think we yeah, had we get a short a rest. rest. Yeah, we yeah. should have enough, yeah. Oh, do I? Uh, I probably yeah, there's need There's no way you're going to still have those runes, and I'm sure I could have. Well... On something and in... toss me a berry, maybe I can. <laughs> uh, you well, kind of us gave you a whole bunch of berries. What'd you do with them? <laughs> I ate them. Put them in his pocket. What they do with them. <laughs> berries for you. They get sick. Oh. He's an elf. Berries. They don't go together. Berries, dwarf. Sorry, berries. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you give me food, I'm likely to eat it all immediately. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, you shouldn't still be wounded. Well, All right, so um, as you're tromping through the bushes here, everyone uh, except for Ziv is completely heard by their passive perception checks. I don't even need to roll to find out if they hear you. <laughs> uh, so one of them uh, kind of yells out, ah, Someone's here! Battle at the ready! And so... Uh, this uh, fellow over here by the rocks kind of climbs up top and um, I'll smile and wave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I what? He uh, oops. Doesn't do much else. Corian. All right, I notch an arrow and fire at the guy on the rocks. Ah, oh, damn it! I plan to do. I want. To... All right, never mind. Okay. Sorry, if you're calling him as a target, I'll fire at the cultist four. No, I didn't want to attack him. I wanted to oh. try to convince them that we didn't. We were allies. Yeah, kind of look like a elf in camouflage. I probably don't look like an ally. All right, screw it. <laughs> Just fire your arrows. <laughs> okay. Regardless of anything else. That is it. Arrow flies out of the bushes and nails that guy right in the side. Oof. Oh. He kind of crumples over on one leg there. Does he lose his balance okay. and fall off the rock? Nope. Okay. All uh, right. This guy comes kind of running up this way. Oh, wait oh, I can't do it in this, can I? No, I can't. Okay. So one, two, three. Oops, three, four. Kind of comes up, uh, kind of ducks down behind these rocks here. <laughs> uh, just a few feet from you, Corey. Uh, Corian, yes. Um, Corian, yep. Ziv. Alright, so I was only able to move this far and 
the time before initiative? Um, no, you could have moved your... So I could have moved closer to, like, where Corian is? Would that have been possible? Well, you would have been able to move, yeah, at least a full move anyway. Like, behind yeah, there? That's, yeah, that's fine, sure. Alright, in that case, I'm going to... Uh, let's see if I won... If I were... Could I move up here? Is that too far? Is this too far? It's probably because of the rocks? Yeah, the rocks are difficult terrain. Yeah, alright. In that case... So two, four, I'm just going to move... Five, right. six, what's your movement? You can move through my square without hindering. Uh, my right? movement is... You want to go that way. 30... 30 so six squares. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to turn into the bear. Let me uh, switch characters. That's a bonus action. I'm going to do that first. I think I have a 40 foot movement speed on the bear. Is that a class feature? Yeah. Bonus action. It's a bonus action? Alright. Yeah. I'm just going to turn into the bear. And, okay, you already switched it for me, thanks. And I'm just going to go, so I, I have 40 feet, so one, move through Corian, two, three. I can move after I attack also in fifth yep. edition. All right. I'm going to move right over here, and I'm going to slash at cultist number three. All I'm right. going to bite him first. Let me see if my targeting button will actually work this time. Control and click. Control and click. Control and click on the target. Nope. All it's doing is making this circle thing. Are you not You're right click, control? just left click. Left click and control, hold your control key and left click. And yeah, left click on your target. That work? Is that yep, it? yep. 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 Right. Awesome. Try it again. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, you're good. You got, you got it. Sorry, I was looking at Zev and going, hey, it's not targeted. Yep. <laughs> and I looked at the brown All right, bear. So now I can just roll it. I don't have to drop it on his portrait. Correct. All right. Is that a hit? Yep. It says Ooh. hits. Bear. You finally hit with bear. the bite. Bear, bear. <laughs> uh, wait, the bear was 1d8 plus 4. Okay. Alright. Dying, ooh. Now I can attack the other guy with my claws. Yep. I'm going to move over to the other guy. And I'm going to attack him with my claws. Alright. There you go. You got him targeted. That worked too? Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Ooh. We just ripped him apart. Nice. That is another hit. <coughs> and he kind of All right. stumbles down, just totally ripped to shreds here. All right. Well, I start eating him. I'm sorry. I start eating him, and then I'm just going to end my turn. All right, so Merrick is up. Um, how much of my movement would be to climb that from there to up on top of that rock? Half your move. Okay. Then from there, I should still have a, do I have a good view at Cultus too, even though he went down to one knee on the, the rock? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I shall try to attack him with my short bow. Uh, that's right. I forgot all about that. What? Nothing. Oh. He should have, uh, he had, uh, cover against Corian, but... Mm. Too late. Go ahead. Keep going. Okay. And damage. And if that's half my move, I'll then just drop back down into the bushes and try and do a little hide here. Uh, cunning action. Uh, I can use the hide action. So let's see. Stealth. 
And that is my turn. All right. All right. Um, looks like I'm going to have to look up something really quickly here on one of these characters so I can see if it'll work. Oops. Sorry. That was a misclick. Don't be killing any more, my guys. You already killed two of them. <laughs> I'm running out of guys already. Yeah, that was very lucky. That's kind of funny. We're actually all lined up right along the bottom there. <laughs> all right. Uh, so at this point, uh, this creature kind of steps forward. Uh, points his finger at the bear. Ooh, I don't like someone pointing their finger at me. Yeah, to bite it off. And he says flee to you ooh i don't want to flee oh but he doesn't know he doesn't know he probably just thinks i'm a regular bear he doesn't know if i'm a intelligent bear <laughs> so you must succeed in a wisdom saving throw do i have advantage because he doesn't think it's a very strong bear does it matter ah well i'm a wise bear i have a uh, plus 16 let me see what my saving throw is there we go Ooh. That should do it. There you go. All You're right. a very wise bear. You are a wise bear. So kind of like Smokey. <laughs> smarter than the average bear. <laughs> hey, boo -boo. That's right. Smarter than the average bear. Hmm. Uh, picnic baskets? And so uh, after he tells you to flee and you kind of see all these little sparkles in front of you and kind of dissipates. He tells, uh, points at this person standing next to him. Stop it! So, <laughs> reluctantly. Uh, 20, 25. He comes up, drawing his spear, and kind of stabs at you. Um, like a... <laughs> Is, is a uh, fifth edition is a spear a ranged one or a um it's not a uh reach Good. weapon is it Don't nope leave okay reach. all right i didn't think it was but i just thought i would ask all right can he stab the bear he That's does man. stab the bear thank god it's not a fit though mm -hmm. oh it's too bad oh two points Ooh. of damage barely got it into its fur at all i look start licking my wounds Barely, but... Ah, uh, Bellinor. You know okay. This guy this knows point, about to eat him. <laughs> at this point, Bellinor raises his axe above his head and does a battle cry and just starts charging. He didn't really do much else, so there's one. That's two, actually. It's well, that's terrain. Well, oh, two, oh, shit. Okay, two... That's well, if you moved four... Is that three or four, then? That'll make it three. It's just it's three, yep. That's three, okay. Four, five. So there I am. Yep. Just calling attention to myself. So that's... Um, you can use your... 25, what's your speed? 25, 25. okay. Yeah. So now you can either spend your move action to do another move. Well, I can do another move or attack, one of the two. Yes, Oh, great. Now, if... Um, all right, so see there's a bunch of rocks directly to my right? Yes, I do. Can I get... Is that difficult terrain, or is that blocked? This is... This one's difficult terrain where I'm putting the X. Come on, draw. Hello? Why is it not drawing? Come on. Okay. Okay, that's difficult terrain. There we go. Yeah, just popped up there. That one is... This one is... And this one is, and this one is. So those four spaces are difficult to read. Yeah, you can so, probably climb them, and this way maybe they'll attack you instead of me. Well, what I'm thinking is, okay, so I'll do one. Is that? 
Oops, is that two or two three? No, it's just two. It's Each two. space only costs you one, and that's it's difficult terrain. And this is why I couldn't tell. This is three four. Yep. Right. And then is this difficult terrain or not? This is not difficult terrain. Yeah, no, that is. That is. So I can I can do this. So you can move up on a day. Oh, you can one. move there. Oh, then that's what I do there. Okay. Okay. There you go. And I'm still young. Charging forward. All right. Got it. Awesome. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. He kind of comes over, draws his scimitar, and standing next to this creature here, and um, he readies an action. Ooh. I don't like that. Uh, this one goes... Um, he actually delays this guy. This guy delays until something happens. Now this guy. One, two, three, four, five. He kind of comes charging across. Um, and then he points his finger at Balinor. Ooh, hope you're wise. Not really. And no. um, <laughs> as you might tell by the he says uh, he says bow to you. So make a wisdom save. A wisdom save. Okay, this would be a good time for a good roll. Yeah. Eleven. Huh. I might do it. Probably not though. So you see, Bill and our kind of. Uh, and he falls to the ground and starts bowing in front of this guy. At that point, this guy then activates. Um, the, the whole time that Balinor is bowing, he's saying, I hate myself, I hate myself. <laughs> yeah. This guy comes uh, charging up. And uh, then at this point... This guy, oop, nope, nope, 3.2, not 32, 3.2, thank you, all right, um, and then this guy kind of does the same thing, oop, not hit, to get there, there we go, boom, 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 all right, Corian, what can you do about all, all this? Right. Shoot one of those. Uh, Spellcaster guys, please. I'm actually dropping my longbow and drawing both short swords. What? Can I as a two-weapon fighter? Can Balinor speak while he's bowing? Or three? Uh, sure. Okay. Four, when is your turn? Five. Okay. Okay. So I'm dual wielding. Um, and I'm a two-weapon fighter, so I'm going to first attack. It's going to be a good cultist five. Oh, as soon as you move into that space, cultist one swings his scimitar at you. Yeah, you added okay. an action. Uh, cultist one. So he, uh, as you come charging up there, he swings his scimitar. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Damn. And hits Ooh. you with it. Ouch. And the guy standing next to him says, Well done! Kill them all! Yeah, kill the oh, guy. Oh, who oh, said oh, that. oh, 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 Go back. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. Corey, okay. back to you. Sorry. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in here, folks, at home so you can see what you're doing. Alright. And I will. What about the acolyte? He's bad. I don't like him. Yeah, that's um, for my second attack. I'm actually going to attack the acolyte. Oh, I think I missed. Crap. Oh, well. Okay. And that's it for. All right. Brown bear. Roar. I'm going to try to bite this guard's head off. All right. This poor defenseless bear. You're going to attack it? All right. Or, uh, human? He just tried to... <laughs> he just stabbed me. He did, didn't he? 
Oh, that's a miss? Wow, he must have a very high AC. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to try to claw at him next. Ooh. Yikes. Ooh. This guy must be tough. Mm hmm. It's not turning out to be a good round. Alright. Uh, well, then, I'm just going to have to go ahead and be content with my misfortune. <laughs> Alright. Nope. Merrick. How are you right. over in the bushes there? Half my move to hop back up to here. All right. Uh, who can I make out easily from this vantage point? Or is everybody um, apparently he, blocked? You could actually probably see the guard, right? Because the guard is under is by those rocks, and those guards, those rocks are about level. They're not really high. Um, you might be able to see the guard. I you can't imagine really five. see anything else. You might um. You can see uh, Belinor. Or. You can see. Uh, don't shoot. Possibly <laughs> Acolyte, too. I don't know. Really? I, I don't know. That That's a stretch. There are bushes and rocks. And... I'm just going to try something here. Then again, he is high up on that rock. So... Well, that's what I'm thinking. It's a close one. Yeah, you might want to kill that Acolyte. I think they're more dangerous than the guards. I think they're the ones we want to interrogate. Oh, they are? Oh, that's a good point. We should probably kill them last, then. I kill, the I kill them last. <laughs> you will be lucky to even lay a finger on them, bear. The guard guard has really high Hey, AC, are so... you in bear form? Hmm? Uh-oh. Are you in bear form? Yeah. Can you speak when you're in bear form? I can growl, <laughs> and he can decipher okay. my growls. Okay, then you on. growl. Don't be giving him advice on what he can do and what he can't do when you're in bear form. Growl, growl, is, growl. So, growl, 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 <laughs> growl, growl, growl. So, so is the guard something I can I can see without much of a, a penalty? Or? No, you're still going to have cover. Um, okay. I'll give him uh, half cover. Right. And if you shoot, if you shoot it out, go if you without penalty, the only one would be probably no, because Belinor's in the way now. Yeah, um, I thought so. So cover, cover. Um, well, remember can't though, see, Belinor's can't bowing see. down, but it, it is combat, right? So you're firing into combat, or is there penalties for that? I can't remember now. <sighs> Actually, you know what? Since Belinor is bowing down, you can shoot Cultist five. Okay. Probably. Let me see what the. Um, Just time right. it while I'm bent over, though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm like a strobe light. Sure, right I'll, now, give you, uh, like I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you Cultist five there without a penalty. All right. Because he's kind of farther away from the rock there, and. Mm -hmm. Perfect. With All right, so I have him targeted, up. and here we go. <laughs> oh. It didn't matter. Yeah. All this right. Is now, so half we run, half we run. Uh, my other, so half move down to there, and then cunning action will be to dash to get another move. So one, two for difficult terrain. There. No, no, just one to go there. Uh, okay. Well, I'll end up. Uh, so that was one, two, three. Yep, one, two, three so far. Uh, I've got what five? Mm-hmm. That's a halfling. Yep. Speed. Where are you? Speed. Twenty-five. Speed twenty-five. Yep. There yep. we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you got ten left. I'll do that, and then there. Okay. All right. And that's my turn. All right. Now. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, Karrion's taking bitter damage already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to start using some of these things that you guys like to do to them. Ah. <laughs> uh, Uh, 
Um, okay, so what he's going to do is... <sighs> yep, he's going to, uh, he's going to move away from Corian, so if Corian wants to... Oh, yeah attempt a attack of opportunity only if you want because something bad might be happening to you if you do it's your choice oh, oh that's a, doesn't matter I'm still going to attack him if something bad happens it does oh uh, I was just <laughs> okay I was, so something bad really happens <laughs> roll, roll, roll. so he continues uh, moving away just uh -huh. Ducks right underneath your swing of the sword, and um, he then gestures, and flames erupt on the ground right underneath <coughs> you. So uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Hmm. Well, in theory, I should be good at that. However, a four is probably not going to do it. Uh, oh, I am not rolling good tonight. I see that. <laughs> What's up with that? Um, so, let's see. It's forward slash roll d8. Oh, what is it? Die d8. There we go. Couldn't remember what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Six points of flame damage come up on the ground as Ooh. he chants the flames right up into you there all right um the guard right in front of the bear takes his spear and tries to stab him in the shoulder trying to wound him uh, oh hate, Ooh. I hate to be doing this against pulling this on my own team but the six points of damage you just rolled didn't apply to Quarian. Oh, right, because I didn't have him targeted. Right, I have to drop that on his head. Nope, I can't do that. Why can't I? If it's not listed as damage on the die roll, you can't just drag it over. So you'll either have to hand enter it. All right, Corian. Uh, sorry, bud, we're going to have to give you some yep. damage here. Six more, so you're up to 13. All right. Yikes. You've been bloodied. Bloodied. Yes. <clears throat> Um, okay, so, yeah, appreciate that. I'll have to remember that. Um, so the bear was stabbed in the shoulder with the spear. He kind of turns it, oh. rotates it, just rotates it, digs it way into your skin there. Ooh. Ow. Six mm. points of damage. All right, Belenor, time okay. for you to get in the game here. Yeah, so did we have a short rest between our last encounter and this encounter or not? Yes. Yeah. We did. Okay. In that case, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is attack Cultist 6, which is, what is it, Control? There it is. Okay. Control quick, yep. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do that with the battle axe here. Oh, he hits him. All right, and damage. Ooh, all right. Yep. Now, what's his condition here? He's uh, wounded. Actually, I was just looking at that. You guys, can you see one another's hit points? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. I, I just, I don't see a bar next to any of you. No, we can't yeah. see oh, the bar. Oh, no, bar. We can see in the tracker. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, in the point combat point tracker, but you guys yeah. can't actually see in like. Oh, um, let me. Yeah. Um, I don't have a bar. No. Or, uh, I don't need a bar. A bear. I wouldn't be able to read him anyway. Wait, <laughs> no, wait a minute. Is, is that is that growling I hear again? Oh, oh, growl. Oh. <laughs> is that growling I hear again? Um, let's see. Turns out he can growl in draconic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So it says show health to clients. Hmm. So ally health. Um. There they go. There's there the go. bars. All right, yeah. there they yep, are. Yeah, now we got them. There you go. A little easier to help, just so you can 
engaged. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So sorry about that. So uh, so you just whacked that guy really good, and uh, you still have some yeah. actions left that maybe you can perform if you want. Right. I think the can I do action surge and second wind on the same turn? I mean, it doesn't seem to be a restriction, so I don't know. Well, the action um, surge says on your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action yes. as a possible bonus and a possible bonus. Oh, so I can't. So the because the other is a bonus action. Right. Mm -hmm. So you, if you want to use your second wind, yeah, uh, you use that as a bonus action. Right. Your right. Action surge will allow you to take another action okay. on top of your regular action and possible bonus action. So okay, yes. so, so you could so use gonna, your second win first, probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, so now what do I just roll a die ten, or do I have to do something special to do that? You're gonna in the chat log. You're just gonna type in forward slash die. Forward. Here, I'll, I'll type or you in. Can pick up your d10 and roll it. Oh well, he's gonna add one to it. Oh, oh right, yeah. Type so this. You put one in the modifiers. Four slash die. Then you're going to roll d10 plus one. So you're going to type in that. Four slash die d10 plus one. Is there a space there? No. Nope. Between space the d after die, but not after the d10. Ten plus one. There you go. So you okay. regained four hit points back. That's so I can just. Um, so you're down you know, to only four want, damage. Sorry, if you okay. want for really quickness, um, type that in again, but don't actually hit enter. Drag that into one of your boxes at the bottom there, and then it'll always be available for a, a quick roll. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. Okay, yeah. and then the last thing will be the action surge, and then I'm going to try to get rid of cultist. I'm going to go, well, I'm just going to get rid of cultist six, I think. We be done with it. You're done with him, huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we. Eh. Uh. Oh, she has mm -hmm. swings and misses. Ah. Uh, okay. <sighs> Actually, uh, you were laying on the ground, so I'm assuming you would stand up for your move action. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I was, yeah, I was bowing. I don't know what that means exactly. That means you, say... you get on the ground and bow to him. I was on my knees then. Yes. Okay. okay. So I'm assuming you had gotten up. Half yes. your move to stand up, yeah? Yes. All right. Cultist number one, still alive and kicking. Yes, he is. All right. Hmm. <sighs> He uh, starts circling around behind Quarry in there and tries to stab him in the back with a scimitar. Whoosh, and misses. And he'll be done. Alright. Uh, we'll have to look this one up as well. Sorry. <coughs> Nope, no problem. Just not as familiar with all of these 5th edition spells as I probably should be. Uh, well, you know, it just came out. We'll give you a break. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so uh, he uh, kind of... He just stands back there and gestures. Hengzi Hacha Monge. Two D four plus about a bazillion, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm looking for it. Wow, didn't realize how many sea spells there are. 
There's a bazillion of them. There we are. Um, <laughs> oh, 1d8 plus. Okay. And even probably better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And that is cultist number six. So you notice that cultist number six. Bling. All of a sudden, his wounds kind of close up, and he gains a lot of strength back. All right. Cultist number five. Uh, he didn't appreciate the fact that this dwarf is just, like, trying to kill people here. So um, he's going to swing his uh, sword at Balinor there. Misses. Um, and he's going to take a, he's going to, yeah, he'll stay right there. That, no, actually he'll move right there. There we go. All right. And then cultist number six, who's now extremely mad at the dwarf, curses at him, and he slides over there. And we're back to Quarian. Okay. Um... Decisions. Okay, I think I will stop for a moment and attempt to cure my own wounds. I'm casting cure wounds spell on myself. Oops. Guess I should cast it first before I click a. Let me target myself first. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, and with that, I will slide this way. I think that's it. That's my action and my move. All right. Uh, okay. If you slide there, you will get an attack of opportunity, presumably. Oh, right, I forgot about cultist From five. cultist number five, yeah. Yeah, I okay, just... never mind that. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about cultist five. That's all right. I just wanted <laughs> to make sure you were... Uh... Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not, a, I'm in range, and not, a, not out of range of him, not out of range of him. Just totally forgot about him. All right. <laughs> okay. Bear, what do you want to do? Run? I'm going to keep targeting, and I'm just going to keep biting. He's trying to bite his head off. Oh, oh that's a hit. There we go. Ooh, not, not too much damage. And then I'm gonna claw his face off. Ooh, that doesn't work. All right, at least I got to bite him a bit. Yep, Merrick. All right, half moved up here, and I'm eyeballing Colt to six. Would I need to move to there to get a better angle on him? Would uh, yes. Give me a clear shot. Um uh, no. Okay. You still got to shoot Probably over those rocks. Probably have a better chance of hitting the acolyte. All right. Well, then I will go for the acolyte, and I'll actually hop back to here. You're just Ar bouncing on the rock. He's doing a little <laughs> dance back and <laughs> forth. I could just, you know, just start, you know, use my dodge action to just go into a little river dance. There you um, go. Um... <laughs> I'll go for Acolyte 2. Alright. That is a hit. Ooh. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then use Cunning Action to dash back down off of the cliff. Oh my gosh. Look at <laughs> you. <laughs> Pop up fire to disappear. Pop up fire disappear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this uh, acolyte number one sees that uh, his friend has an arrow in his side. Um, takes a five foot step over here, and actually no, um, it is a touch. Okay, he needs to touch him, so he'll touch him. Uh, so I messed that up. I didn't realize that. So, cultist number six should not be healed because he couldn't have been touched with the spell. So, 
Let me remove that. Call to six. So, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so he will move up here and then cast the cure wounds on his friend. Oops. All right. Not that it's going to matter. And uh, he'll be done. All right. Guard here. He's pretty wounded, but um, he, he's having a good fight with this bear. He thinks he can take the bear out. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Take that. And this. And a little bit of that. <laughs> Bellinor. Okay, I am going to move here and attack this dude. <gasps> okay. Ready? You've got, you've got two people target. Oop. I've got... Uh, oh, crap. Sorry. Can we, can we undo that somehow? Probably not. You would disadvantage anyway, so either way, it would hit him. Neither was a, was a 20, so it doesn't really matter. How do I untarget the one guy now? You uh, control thinking. click like you would target them. Yeah, oh, you control right. click again, it'll just get rid of it. Okay, sorry, gang. That's all right. No problem. That's okay. Both of them made anyway, so. Yeah. Are we okay? Yep, so you hit him. Okay, okay, cool. So just take your damage die and drop it on his head so you don't do damage to both of them. Oh. That no, seemed, you're, you're fine. You're that fine. seemed to work. You're un yeah, you untargeted yep. that guy, so it did. Yeah. yeah, once you untarget him, he won't do damage. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think we're okay. And I think that's all I can do, so... You've uh, messed up enough. That's all you need to do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 all right, Skeletus 1, still feeling a little spunky, tries to stab Quarian in the back. Ooh, almost Ooh. critical hits. Ooh. Ooh. Nice stab Ouch. there. Uh, all right, so now this guy will use his actual spell to come up. And he casts Cure on the creature in front of him. Oh, nice. <laughs> so he is almost healed all the way back up. You see all of his wounds are just disappearing right in front of your eyes. Ah, cultist number five. Hmm. He is going to disengage, come down here, next to the bear. <laughs> cultist number six. I'm not sure why he's at, um, no, 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 he's a small size, there we go, he's a little bit bigger now, he must have been like a halfling guy or something, <laughs> um, let's see, so he is going to try to stab Corin. oh, critical oh, hit, oh uh oh, oh, Ooh. oh. ah, and with that stab in the chest, Quarian goes down. Uh, I better take care of these guys. Quarian, so. you need a death saving throw in the tower so no one knows yes. whether you mm -hmm. succeed or pass. Only our viewers at home get to see this. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Will he make it, ladies and gentlemen? He needs to roll a 10 or higher. If he rolls a 1, it is considered a failure, a double failure. If he rolls a 20, he will gain consciousness and come back to life. If he rolls a 1 through 9, he takes a, um, a uh, failure. And a 10 through 19 is a success. If he has 3 failures before 3 successes, he will die. Okay. Quarian is down, bleeding. It's now was the bear's turn. Oh, it automatically did the save throw for you. Oh, it does it at the end of the turn. 
That's cool. That is very cool. Wow. Unfortunately, I, I it tells you. Yeah, I thought they were going to add that in, but anyway. It, it tells you, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah unfortunately, yeah. it tells you, because that way. Well, at some point, I'm going to know anyway, because you're going to mark that on the seat, right? <laughs> no, it's just, we had done this with our Wednesday group. Oh, yeah. And they were like, oh, you only have one death save on you. We'll get you next turn. And they continued the fight with the monsters, and, you know, we're killing them all. And then he ends up rolling a one and double failures and dies. So then it's like, <laughs> well, you guys should have come over and rescued me. But you guys were metagaming and just knew I had, like, you know, extra time to bleed out. Yeah, it adds suspense. It's like, is he, is he about to him. die? Or I don't yeah. know if he can even handle another roll. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and bite. This cultist who just came up to me looks tasty. Yeah, that's a hit. Oh man, I should have bitten the other guy. Oh well, Let's see if this kills him. Ooh. There you go. Oh, just... All right. Then I'm gonna claw at the other guy. You try and crack through his shell. Let's see if this works. Nope. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty strong guy. Hmm. Merrick. Well, you're kind of getting used to this, so I'll back up. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I can get a good look at Acolyte One from here, right? Uh, yep. No, he All moves. right, that's good because he's in combat. He's got an enemy within five. I like hearing that. So please hit, please hit, please hit, hit. Yes. Damage. If he's not dead, sneak attack. Because he that it's a ranged attack oh. and the enemy is within five feet of it. Mm -hmm. The sneak attack damage is another four. Kill them. Yeah. Then Sweet. cut in action. Now hop Ooh. back off the rock. All right. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I'm buying the halfling and ale when this is over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, still stabbing at the bear here. This guard is feeling good. He sees the bear. He's got three b big puncture wounds in his shoulder. <laughs> he tries to stab him one more time. Ow. <laughs> it's again. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Another massive wound in the bear. He's well, thinking about he's thinking cook. about beer uh, bear uh, pork chops for dinner tonight. That's what he's thinking about. <laughs> All right, I think I have to do cultist number six because someone's got to bandage our friend here before he bleeds out. I think. Can you do that during combat? You can, right? Bandage somebody. You can yeah. Okay. I think it's a standard action to stabilize, but I'm maybe thinking about force addition. Okay. All right, so without any objection, I'm going to attack. Oh, God. No. Oh. The gods are not favoring you. You're not acting like true warriors. <laughs> Heroes. Well, should we go fight them or should we run away? <laughs> That's why the gods are against you. The dice gods. That's what it is. They're I'm laughing the at said, you. Let's go well, fight them. And then I'm the one that went down first. <laughs> <laughs> See? What kind of heroes know? are you? Go kill them! Alright, are you done, Villanor? Yeah. That's it. Alright. Cultist number one. Hmm, does he take pity upon Quarian? I think he would. Put me out of my misery? No, he won't do that. He comes around here and is protecting the Acolyte. And stabs at Bellinor with his scimitar. Oof, another oh, hit. Oh, no. Yikes. Yike. Another big hit. All right. Uh, let's see if this guy's got any more tricks up his sleeve here, shall we? Oh, uh, you know, I probably should have looked at that spell at, like, the beginning of this combat. Damn. I uh, hope he used up all his spells. I really hope he did. No, he's still got... He's still got stuff for you, buddy. I 
really should have looked this bill up. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would have... Oh, yeah, that would have definitely... That would have definitely changed his combat if he had done that. That would have made it much more dangerous. All right. <laughs> but um, what's he going to do now? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? I guess he'll... Um, he will Sacred Flame Balinor's space again. So a reflex save? Is that what it was? That it wasn't me last time. Was it reset reflex? I... That would be a, a dexterity, dexterity save. save. Yeah, dexterity, yeah, dexterity save. save. Yeah, it was me that had to make it, yeah. Do you want it in the tower or do you want it out front? No, you can roll out front. You can know whether or not the flames hit you or not. Okay. <laughs> Which they do. <laughs> not the beard! Oh wait, um, oh, wait a minute. I have to do damn edge, mm -hmm. right? Afterwards? No. Mm -hmm. I, you don't I'm really. Not, I'm not sure no. how you have to type that in to be able to drag it over. Mm. I forget. Uh, I thought. No, that's not working. Um, all right, I will just. Oh, you know what? It helps if you learn how to spell too. Let's try that again. There it is. Okay. Ah. Mm. Seven flame damage on. Nope. Yeah, it'll just put the word in front of it, but I don't think it acts uh, as Oh, it damage. doesn't act as damage? All right. I've, I've got to look that up. Mm -hmm. All right, Belinor, where are you? There you are. Seven more brings you up to 18. Ooh, the beard is on singeing. His flame, little flames are flickering on his, his armor. Uh, and last but not least, cultist number six, who feels like a pickled sandwich. He's going to move here. Nope. Yeah. Sure. That's fine. I'll move there. And, um, I guess he'll try to stab Bellinor as well. Oh, misses. Unfortunately, Quarian. And I shall just end my turn. Yeah, because it will auto-roll for you. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, another Ooh. success. Look at you. Oh, so close. So close. So close. <laughs> Brown bear. <laughs> you got to do something with that guy. There, there you go. go. Oh, there you go. Right there you are. Finally. Aye, aye, okay. Alright, let's see, I got a movement of 40, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 times 5 is 35. Oh, I could move towards this acolyte. The problem is if I kill him, then we can't interrogate him. Is there a subdue player. or something? You can, That's um, true. Couldn't I just tackle him and subdue him? But then he could well, probably... Well, here's, here's the way 5th edition does it. If you announce before you attack... That you were trying to not kill somebody and it drops them to zero hit points. They just go unconscious and they don't die. Oh, I'm going to do that then. Because I can actually get up to him. It's 40. Alright, I'm going to use my other action. To attempt. Let's see if this Did works. Did you trample over uh, Quarian while you were going there? <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. Alright. Thought I would ask. Oh. Yeah. Nope. That's not good. Now he can cast some magic crap at me. All right, Merrick. All right. Hopping up. Uh, cultist one. And firing short bow and missing. Wow. And saying, I didn't mean to, and then hopping back down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Bellinor. Okay, I'm back at, uh, let's see here now, wait a minute. Who's targeted here? You have Cultus 6 targeted. I think I'm, I'm going to go for Cultus 6. 
Wow, another four. Yeah, so you guys have rolled a seven, two, four, four. Yes. Awesome. You are whittling these guys down. The question is, who's going to whittle down faster, you or them? <laughs> uh, Cultist One is going to stab at Belenor. Oh, Whoa. misses. Uh, he will stay right where he's at. Well, let's see here. Mm -hmm. He will cast Sacred Flame on the bear, make a dexterity oh. save. Oh, oh my gosh. Or. Or. Uh, oh, I forgot to add damage. So five to the bear. Can you just you add more. it in, or can you do that? I can do it. Uh, 23. Okay. Um, and call it to six. We'll stab at you. Roar. Oh, misses. Roar. And back to Quarian. Uh, we'll just skip you. That's right, because you're down. This could stabilize you, though. Oh, look at that. Three successes. Oh. You've been stabilized. Brown bear. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows that, though. No. Or... Of course not. Or... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to bite him, but not... But kill him? Not kill him, yeah. All right. Oh, oh. And of course you roll a critical hit. It only does four damage? Uh, that was weird. I must have clicked something wrong. Let me try that again. Yeah, there we go. Whatever. <laughs> it was... doesn't make a difference. Well, it might have, because if you would have killed him outright, then you wouldn't have been able to. Yeah. Well, you know what? That didn't account for the crit. I probably should have actually. So that's two. I should just roll another. Another Ooh. six. So that is a total of twelve. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're okay. Uh, not, oh, actually, it looks wait, a crit. Uh, so shouldn't good so stuff. So it's actually, happen? actually, it's only another six. Yeah. Uh, so 15. awesome. Uh, well, I can still use my claw now to claw at cultist number six. All right. Yep, there you go. Oh, and a 19. Ooh. Look at that, 20 and then a 19. Oh. Frawley decides to uh, kill a few guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, Merrick. All right, hopping up, firing away. Oh, it was on the 22, but you still hit. Uh, damage... And sneak attack damage. He's still up. Oh, so close. <laughs> uh, Belenor. Uh, uh, okay, I side. am chapping this effing cultist right here. And... Yep, that's it. Finally. I felt like giving the dwarf the last blow. He... he, he yeah, that's it. I appreciate it because you know I was I was starting to get kind of frustrated there. Uh oh. He did get the last hit there and knocked that last guy down. Look at that. And there it is. Whew. All right, so the battle is finally over after uh, just a few minutes here of fighting, but there's blood and and death all around you here and even your allies are laying fallen on the ground mm -hmm. I woke up you guys look like shit <laughs> 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 we gotta bandage our friend here don't we <laughs> I go over to see if we can bandage our, our friend here the, that's the ranger right you don't, yeah. don't want to bear taking a look at that yeah <laughs> probably uh, not no. 
I'm not gonna switch out. I'm gonna okay, actually write in the ground. I'm gonna me. write. I'm gonna write. I'm not gonna switch to regular form, so you can use me to interrogate this guy and intimidate him. Because I still have my human intelligence, so I can write mm -hmm. with my claw. Tell you guys that. <laughs> but I'll switch when you guys want me to. I can only last in this form another hour. Cool. 58 minutes, depending on how long combat was. <laughs> yeah. uh... Right. Melanor, um... Do you want to give, um... Um... A uh, medicine check now? Is that what they're calling it nowadays? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh... So I'll go yeah, and try, medicine. but I'm not any good at it. I'll go and try also. Yeah, I'm... See. <laughs> you don't want a bear stomping on it. Is this helping? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh... Well, that helps. Yep. Balinor, uh... Yeah, it doesn't matter what able to, uh... Stop your bleeding and get you to stabilize position, even though you were... Unbeknownst mm -hmm. to them, you were stable. So, um... No, you just see him beat up, just tore apart. Wounds all over his body, arrows sticking out of him, flames still flickering on his skin. <laughs> he, uh, I spent all morning braiding my beard, and now it's burned off. <laughs> I'm just saying. Exactly. Just I know, while you were braiding your beard, I was braiding my hair. Now it's all burned off. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's a travesty, I tell exactly. you. Exactly. So our I guy... I our... used as a candle... Yeah. So, so the yeah. acolyte is still like under the bear, right? Like the bear's like sitting yeah. on his head or something. Yeah, he's unconscious. Okay. Uh, you know, he'll... The bear's sitting on his chest, fighting in his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. Um, okay. I will prop myself up into a sitting position. You would be a good interrogator. <laughs> What's next, he says. <laughs> What's next? Yeah, so after uh, after another minute or so, Corian finally comes around and stabilizes himself. And Does mm -hmm. anybody have any healing? Well, I do, but you probably don't want me to try it in a bear form. He's in a bear form, so that's not going to help. And I just used my last first level spell, so I'm kind of out. Oh, but if you still have those bears, well, if we take a go. if we take a rest, I can you know use some he healing dice or hit dice to heal myself, right? So we do right. need to take a short rest at least. Probably, uh, probably a good idea yeah. to take a short rest. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good idea. So if we do that, we each get to do like a healing surge thing, don't we? Or is that fourth edition? <laughs> well, well yeah, you can use a hit die, a healing die, hit die, whatever, as a healing die, right? And then, um, yeah, if, if that one doesn't heal you all the way, then you can use your next one and so on until you run out of them, more or less. Yeah, you only have, uh, I only have two. I think you only get one yeah. per level. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it okay. just depends on what class you are, what kind of die roll it is. Okay, so you roll, like, basically, because... Historically, your level has been like your hit dice, right? So you yeah on right. on the main tab, there's a hit die function. I think yeah. you can just either click or double click that, and it'll okay. roll right, and right heal. Now, I think it auto will auto do that. I'm gonna try it right now. Where is it? Uh, right oh, at I the see. bottom of the main tab. Yeah, under your hit points. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, if you drag it to the bar, it oh, says there we go. recovery. Yep. Yeah, and yeah, it took the hit die it. away, and it rolled yeah. it. Where I'm still I'm on the main tab down at the bottom. It's right what? at the very bottom under yeah. your where it there's says HP max step. and temp, and then there's HD underneath that. Oh, okay, but he doesn't have anything. I don't know which. Oh, it's a bear I brought up. Oh. Okay, that's why he didn't have anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's already got it in there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, Do you no. get your constitution <coughs> bonus too, or is it just? Uh, <laughs> yes, you do. It should add it in there. Yeah, you get you, it adds your constitution bonus. Okay, it does yeah. add it. Short okay. rest, yep. and I can't stay in bear form because a short rest is at least an hour, so we won't be able to interrogate him while I'm in bear form. 
Just oh, well, you got, we can interrogate him first, and then yeah. do the... Well, he, I, that's true, but he hasn't regained consciousness yet, though, has he? That's true, we do have to wait for him to regain consciousness. Right. Wait, you want to wait for him to wake up before you interrogate him? That's, that's another question. Do you really need him? I mean, you do have a, a rogue... We have to. We can't interrogate him until he's awake. So we do have to wake him up in one way or another, or wait for him to wake up. Just slap him around. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I could try a medicine roll, or one of us could try a medicine roll, or something to wake him up. Maybe. Um, well, maybe we should tie him up and then be- put like a rag in his mouth, and then we'll just take the rag out when he's to answer that way he doesn't you know cast any spells or anything yeah i can Ooh. put some uh, i can put tie his hands up so he can't cast take off his focus whatever magical focus he has you can take that off too yeah yeah i think we ought to do all there's, that there's but we're going to find out what they do one. next week folks is we're going to have to bring this episode to a close and we've run out of time on this tuesday night for our horde of the dragon queen adventure Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts, comments, suggestions below. Let our PCs know what a great job they're doing of this adventure. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday as we pick this up. So thank you one and all for joining us. And we'll see you next week.